Okay, folks, another Friday here. Welcome one and all. Uh, I am Citizen Jones Usen. Today on the program, federal government calls for collaboration to tackle insecurity, says threats go beyond arms and ammunition. 23 victims of plateau attacks get mass burial, and later on, universities face strike action as government pays only lecturers on IPPIS. I'm hanging out with Charles Ideho. Charles, I greet you. Thank you. Glad to be here. All right, then. And uh, there's also Bola Olajuwon. I greet you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so the team is ready. I hope you are. You know, there's no instance of any country on planet Earth that survived a prolonged war of attrition. The National Security Council sat on Thursday and the consensus was that all hands must be on deck so as to face the rising wave of insecurity threatening the peace and stability of our country frontally. Now, National Security Advisor, retired General Baba Gana Monguno, while briefing journalists after the session, presided over by the President and Commander-in-Chief Mohamedou Buhari, admitted that a collaboration between the federal government and the larger Nigerian society was unavoidable uh, was an, an unavoidable imperative. Okay, the threat facing us goes beyond bullets and ammunition. That's what he said. So we'll share this story with you. Just watch on. The quarterly Security Council meeting that appraises the clear and present dangers to national security. This one comes at a time when the spotlight is on the failure of security agencies to secure lives and property across the country. But the highly anticipated outcome of the meeting is the need for stronger collaboration among security agencies in desperate times like these. Look at the possibilities the opportunities available to government in addressing most of the recent challenges. There were discussions and at the end of the day the most important thing that uh, we came up with was the need for collaboration both between governmental agencies and the larger Nigerian society. The outburst on both floors of the National Assembly calling on the heads of security to resign clearly did not resonate at the Security Council meeting. The issue of the National Assembly resolution did not come up during our meetings. For them, the challenges facing the country are multidimensional and the resignation of service chiefs is certainly not the solution, at least for now. All right, um, um, Charles, the opposite of insecurity, or security is insecurity, and there's only one way to get around it. You must take risks. So the meeting of yesterday was not an accident? Well, long overdue, one. And number two, I, I quite agree that um, what we have at hand is more than uh, bullets, more than arms, more than ammunition, more than AK-47, more than even more mm -hmm. than tank, uh, tanks. Um, I, I do sincerely believe this is personal to me, having looked at the issue critically and as a journalist, and uh, having observed um, what has been happening. I do think that what has made the I mean, insurgency and all that uh, for fester for, for this long is that there could be an element of deep-seated interests from individuals, from groups, Interest that has to do with uh, people who are sympathetic to the cause that uh, these insurgents are fighting. Interest that could do also with um, people who may be making a whole, I mean, a kill in terms of uh, the appropriation, making money, and do not want the thing to end so that uh, the, the stream, the, the flow, flow of the stream of income will not stop. So when you put all is, this together. Is that a plausible uh, argument? It's well plausible as it may be, but uh, you, because that's what I'm, I'm tying it to what they, they, they mm. said that it is beyond arms and ammunition. Okay. But if it is beyond that, then the question you also ask yourself is that what could be at the heart of it? If it because if it were 
tied to arms and munition, by now would have been able to root out all this insurgency. Also, we it, think. Yes, well, so I think. Because he, for 11 years, since 2009 or so, the, the, the nation has appropriated over four, clo close to 4 trillion naira of our naira and cobble, right? It deployed to, to, to uh, fighting, fighting insurgency. 2012 alone, the budget for, for, for the, uh, the armed forces was about two, about two billion. Now, okay, it amounted, if you look at it, it's about up to about two billion dollars. The question is that all these things, what have we gained? All we hear is that they have been using all manner of epithets. They have been degraded, they have been downgraded, they have been defeated, they are technically difficult, uh, defeated. The question is what all this appropriation that have been, have been deployed to the military to, 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 to root out the uh, uh, insurgency. What have been our gain? So that's why I said, turn down, they have accepted the fact that it's more than bullets and, uh, and arms and munitions. Then they need to now up their ante when it has to do with intelligence gathering to see if they can actually go deep and see if they can identify those who are, who are feeding fat from it, those who are also sympathetic to the cause of this of the ideology that uh, is, is, okay. the soldiers are fighting. Um, Bola Mine is, we can't discuss, discuss this matter without going to one thread that runs through every of these arguments. Mm. The, both houses of the National Assembly had said, look, they passed a resolution. Change head, uh, 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 security yeah, head chiefs. Yes, that's right. Is that a logical argument at a time like this? Uh, to me, as a person, it's a logical argument. Because, like, if the other people, they would not been able to find solution to the issue at hand. The surface chiefs, they have not been able to. I think when the federal government or the president, because he has the prerogative to appoint. It's commander-in-chief. It's the commander-in-chief. If he should bring forth some other people, I think maybe we can find a way out. Because, like... The issue of collaboration, the issue of you know collaboration between you know the armed forces and also you know the public, I don't think is one issue that they just knew today. You know what I mean? uh, Might I rub this in? Mm -hmm. The Amotekuns of this world mm -hmm. is one of such initiatives. Initiative, but what right, we are right, wrong? Now, you are right, but what we are saying now is that what we are seeing now is that, look, the federal government or the Antony General of the Federation is talking in between, you know, his mouth. You, you think he's speaking from both angles? Yes, both <laughs> angles, you know, because to me, as a no, person... No, you, you, you have hmm? to persuade me. How? See, How? No, because like, you see, he said, oh, it's not that they were against, but some things should be against, done. Against? You know, I'm a tech one. Okay. Uh, the session of, of Amateko, where some things should be done. And, okay, they had a meeting. Which, which, which is proper? Yes, which is proper. Okay. Now, they had a meeting. Eh? They had a meeting. And then, they, you know, with the governors. He had a meeting, with, you know, with Southwest, uh, Southwest governors, where they discussed the issue at length, and they agree on some point. As of today, we should be seeing Amateko jumping all around, assisting the federal government has been, you know, propagated by the NSC that, look, there should be collaboration. Okay. Now, to me as a person, I have not well, had anything sorry, new. What about the, the, just a minute, mm -hmm. what about the sentiment raised by mm -hmm. our brother here mm -hmm. that there might be some folks somewhere who yeah. are gaining by the... Yeah. By See, let me tell you. I have will you, say have, it, have you heard I it agree before? with him. I agree with him. You know, okay. because it was... Uh, a few months ago, we saw what happened. A general, they saw you know, some foreign currency with the general. Because, you know, some of the guys that were conveying the money, they did, they were, they wanted to be smart. Because it wasn't the first time of doing that. They wanted, they, they wanted to have a share of it. And the money was coming from, you know, um, uh, the war front. Yes, the war, I don't want to say the war front. Okay. You know, <laughs> frontline states. Don't, don't feed it. Uh, please, don't feed me. The frontline states, <laughs> the north. You understand me? And, yeah. and with what we had, it wasn't the first time such amount of money eh, were being conveyed. Now, uh, now, you know, now uh, my uh, own take. My own take. Yeah, okay. My own take. 
is that, you see, we are not hearing anything new. What Nigeria wants, for these people to have spoken, the National Assembly leadership, for them to have come out to request the federal government to sack these people. Yes, they were speaking the minds of Nigerians. Because people tell that the people there, the leadership, is lame duck. That's, you know, just doing, they, they, they were elected, they were selected to do the bidding of the federal government. For them to come out and okay. say, something must be done. These people should be sacked. Yeah. Okay. It was not worthy. Look, to me as a person, I was thinking that the way out should be like, fine, like they did in the case of corruption. If they are not declaring any emergency, they should be able to do something. Like, you know, the, uh, the whistleblower. They should be able to do something like the issue of the whistleblower. Uh, telling the people in the north that look, if you see anything that is against you know the security of the nation, talk. Why they not? Are, yeah. They are such a dedicated oh. numbers. Oh, okay. But I just, just, just I, I want yes. you to go okay. just broach it a little right. bit. That's right. Changing of the guards mm. at the security okay. chief's yes. level. Mm. Well, um, there are two things I, I can I can adduce for that. Number one is that, yeah, it is uh, desirable to change them because uh, it does seem as if they run out of ideas or creative ideas to uh, be able to give us the peace that we all, we all, we all deserve. Um, because they've served out their term, it, be, it was renewed and if needlessly renewed, I should, I should add. But again, when you look at um, the politics behind all this, if you change them and you bring in new guys, for instance, if you still have moles in the system, you have the fit columnists in the system, as I said earlier, there are fielding fat from insurgency in this country. Those people will still be there. They have become like, like, like principalities and power. And so when you change, you would have been sure to weed um, without some no, of No, no, like, my fear is that even if you change them, and, and this principality is the one system. One of the chiefs is... Is part of them. Uh, well, well, that, uh, that would be, that would be it, solving, solving the problem halfway. Oh, really? Yeah. But if a chief, for instance, we just say it's a matter of conjecture. If one of them... We have sympathy uh, for his Boko Haram or all that, or has been feeding far from it. He must have also raised full soldiers. Okay, down the line. It's a, it's a down the line thing. Even when he leaves, these full soldiers, we, because the they have to call in the military, I, I'm told, is forever. Mm. So they also have even a cause uh, uh, to, Until something goes wrong. Until something goes <laughs> wrong. I wouldn't mm. know what might go wrong. Mm. So, and you, once he has them in the system, they, rather than report to the man you have put there, they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are likely going to be reporting to the man you have, you have shipped away. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. That is, it, it, honestly, is we, it a ca catch, catch is a ca Thank you. So we need to actually see that. And it's about it's intelligence gathering for them to infiltrate, to actually know that's it, that's if it. there are some of these elements in the system that no matter how much we have devoted into it, we're not winning the war. So if we're able to look at it that way, let the intelligence people do it and see if there are uh, elements of, of what I have I've just advanced uh, it, uh, it's, it's in existence, then they should begin to look at it that way. But, but uh, let's hold on to that little thread. Intelligent intel gathering. Yes. Very key. Um, Nigerians are not disposed to giving information. But, but you know that's been a long time coming. Yes. Because yes. they aren't sure mm. of what, what happens next. Yes. That is the more easy. I say the issue of whistleblowing policy. Mm. Yeah again yeah, on insecurity if nigerians have been told but, but law, 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 law never they go there no, no, they, they, but it's it, it, law it, it, it also it has its own uh, its own no 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 so we, they, we say we'll do whistle blow now if mm -hmm. charles chop yeah. money mm -hmm. uh -huh, you know mm -hmm. no but, don't use me <laughs> okay <laughs> so but, but what i say security is is it's yeah. a, a totally different kettle of fish yes, yes I agree. that is the truth that is the truth. And the kind of insecurity we are having now is not um, one thing. It's not, it's not one way. It's not even two way. It's multi you know, multi directional mm. or dimensional you know, uh, mechanism that we didn't prepare for. But how many years? Since how many years now? We well, should be able yeah, to have. I, 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 let's go there. Mm -hmm. Beginning with you, still mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. Boko Haram started like a child's play in mm. 2002. Yes. 
2002, yes. yeah. it incubated, mm -hmm. and we all went to sleep. Yes, that's today what... it's a Frankenstein. Yes, did, did that's what we're saying. I don't think we're going to sleep. Oh, come it on. was denial. It was not going to, going to oh, sleep. Oh, you were living it was in denial. denial. Yes. No, we were all living in denial. I mean, even those people, some of the, sorry, Ebola, some of the people who are in government, when they, when they were campaigning, even, there was time in 2011 that if some of them were saying that... Uh, nothing but, like that. There was something, apart from nothing like that, that we, we have, the, the military has said that the government had not, uh, uh, at that time, she also, uh, they say, I'm trying to look at the way... But fast was, forward, you remember, so former, hold was, on, was, former it, President Goodluck Jonathan yes. admitted in public that in my government, don't you remember? That's what I'm saying. There they are... Boko Haram elements. elements. Oga. But again, at that point, hold on, denied. hold on, hold on. At that point, the first citizen commander in chief would have been speaking from an informed position. position. But what, what, what did he do when he said it? Yeah, it was it was from 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 the position of of. Uh, uh, how do I, it, it was it, I, it was it was like as if it was, it was, it was not a weakness. It was as if he was tired. He couldn't. I mean, they had something to do, but his hands, so to speak, were tied. Because okay. he had them there, no matter how much they were trying to root them out, they were still not able. Because there were people in this government who may have been advanced, who may have been giving information to the enemy. Good. Um, uh, you know, at the hangout, ours is just to lay it bare. Yes. yes. You remember the chief of army staff at the time, his mm -hmm. first chief of army staff, mm -hmm. General Ihe Jirika, mm -hmm. we were told, mm -hmm. was dealing decisively with Boko Haram. Yes. And uh, at the time, the president was hurried into removing him. Yes. By who? who? By what? By what person? Maybe. Good. Who are the people that did interest. it? Oh, you are asking me. Interest. Yes. Interest. Yeah, yeah, interest. No. No. We should. We should. Be and able. he removed him. Yes, he did. You understand me? No. Do you remove winning, a winning team? We, you, you then you look at it that way. Let's look at it. You understand me? Some people must have been saying that why are the soldiers, the military, attacking our people, killing our people unnecessarily? Mm. Some people must have been complaining. Maybe the governors or the emirs. Look at the case of, you know, uh, uh, where was that? Look at the case of this Benima that was the theater commander. I forgot. Okay, the name. yeah, exactly. Something in Rabo also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rabo, yeah. When that guy Rabo, came yeah. up, when that guy came up, up, up many, state governments, also. many state governors were, you know, commanding Congrats. him. Yeah. But what happened? They removed the man. Uh, we who, are not hearing anything who, about the who man. Who or what by? By interest. By interest. Okay. By it Same interest. by interest. Because the guy was dealing with them. He came up as if he was a miracle worker. The, so we can summarize by saying there are indeed fifth columnists. Yes. Somewhere. There are yes. more. There are yes. more. Yes. There are okay. more. Not it, only uh, most. Yes. Some people have benefited from it. That's exactly. really said. Some people are really... Let insurgency stop today. You will see some people complaining. Okay. Just like when you shut your borders. Oh, yes. Part, part, part of it too. Oh, but they were really? also, also gaining from me. Because to okay. me as a person... Ne right? Negatively so. See. And, and their cousins. I wouldn't know. Maybe you've had... <laughs> <laughs> and another thing is this. Maybe yeah. we should look at intelligent, intelligence gathering. Not only that. We should also look at, you know, having more technology. No, he, um, he military moved, he moved, technology uh, to it. Minister Arabo Shalaj just also said that. Mm -hmm. that so, uh, sorry, we, we okay. have company here. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Akola is here in Lagos. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I miss your, your name, but it will be shown on the screen. Let's welcome you, sir. Good evening. Yes, good evening to your guest. And it's Ideho, SL. Hey, Coco. Yeah, so uh, my take on this issue is this. It's just, if you just give me like two minutes to just talk on some certain issues. One. Security is a very expensive business. That's to start with. Secondly, there are issues we need to look at. The first question we have to ask the president, what is he, what is he doing with these service chiefs who have been there? Mm -hmm. Their tenure extended. If you want to extend the tenure of somebody, you mm -hmm. extend the tenure of those, somebody who is performing. Mm -hmm. These persons are there. The security problem is increasing, and you are extending their tenure. You refuse to allow them to go. That is another angle of it. Then you now look at another issues. How motivated are those people fighting on the ground? That's right. Have you ever, ever checked on what these persons get as allowances on a daily basis? Where monies are divided? And another issue against the Jews, as I speak to you, we, uh, one of the lawmakers said something, if you listen to him in the House of Reps, that there are persons there that need to be changed, who have been there for a very long time. Since in Jews, how do you deploy some soldiers to a particular place? Some of them are there for, for more than five years. You refuse to change them. Why others are in other okay. Who does that? <laughs> okay. 
Ahis, yes. many thanks. I mean, we, we can also liken what Ahis said to the game of football. I mean, as a coach, you, I mean, you, you, are, you, are, you are a follower of football. You see that when, when the team, you look at the team totally, it, 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 the front may be, may be having a problem. What do you do? You look at your bench. Yeah. Sometimes some coaches can even win matches even from the bench, mm. using the bench. But what we have, are we saying that in the whole of Nigerian armed forces, it's only brute, uh, Tuku Brute, what's how do you call it? <laughs> Tuku uh, Brute or, or, and no, all no, that. No, no, please. Please, no, I'm trying to get hold his name. on, please, Charles. No, no, no pun here. No, no, General Tuk, I'm trying to get his name Tuk, right. Tukor Brutai, uh, Brutai is an okay, officer good. of the state. Please, please. As, please. As, is that the only one who can who can lead us to to, to desire Dorado in, in, in fight against the insurgency or the other the other persons? There are there, that's what I'm saying. That let's on, on the one hand but, we, we need to deal. Bola, with... He, he has cited the football thing. Yes. Bring it home to Nigeria. Yes. In Nigeria, for a national team, there are very many interests. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you, you must, you must, you the must FA have, interest. you must have the FA a, national, a national, a national nationally team. spread. It has to do with all the existence of the federation. You have to do with. Uh, uh, imagine that. But as yes, I said, as I said, security is a different kettle of fish. fish. My my trouble here is sometimes the the military uh, community in Nigeria wants to do an operation, and we are we are told what they are about to do. Oh, we have just bought this. Oh, we, we have this. Press we, conference. We, it's we, only in Nigeria I see press conference you know, for military that they are going to do. You, what, 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 what does that mean? You are telling you are, the enemies you are, yeah. your next line of faction, which is wrong. And I cannot forget this, which is wrong. this quote by Napoleon Bonaparte. He said, when your enemy is making a mistake, never interrupt him. That's it. Mm -hmm. Because that will work for you. That's it. That's it. But so yeah, what, we, we must begin to take this. The military how, how, okay, how do you bury right. this? Yes. How, how we should bury this is this. Um, Sonny Abasha, General Sonny Abasha said one day, he said, if insurgency should continue in a country for 24 hours, those in government... I, I remember GD, I, mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. GD had countered this thing mm -hmm. by challenging anybody to produce where he said the that. General Abacha said it. Well, well, well. They've quoted him several, several okay. times. Okay. All They've right. quoted him several times. But even whether Abacha said no. it or not, mm -hmm. there are pointers to the fact that even when you look at Nigerian Niger, Niger, Niger example, we've s spent so much money, and we have the best of military people. I mean, when they go abroad, they win laurels oh, for yeah. us. Yes. It's the oh, same yeah. military. Let me finally take can, it home. I believe they can. They can Let me out. finally take it home. Yeah. The government should look into you know those who are occupying the front seat or the top seat of the surface ship. Not only that, the federal government should look at the bench. We have many people who can do more than the them bench. as they are doing now. Secondly, it is stated that look, a country, a government has the monopoly, you know, of violence. If the government should indeed have the mono monopoly of violence, the, the federal government should take it home and attack this the fronter. That is my take. Uh, uh, all right, uh, quickly, I, I hear we can rob another call in. Mohammed is reaching us from uh, Borono, up there in the northeast, theater of war. Right. Mohammed, I greet you, sir. Good evening, sir. How do you do? I'm fine, sir. Quickly, what can you tell us? Uh, about these uh, security challenges that we are facing in Boron State here. Hello, can you hear go me? on, go on. Me? Ignore the whole back. Go on. Hello, Mohammed, man. go on. Okay. Okay. Mm. Well, yeah. Well, I, I, will, I will end this way that look, if we, if you are getting to root, okay, if you are going to fight a system, you are using the same tactics. You are not winning result. There is about time you changed that tactics. Yeah. That's the way I, I think the Chinese uh, uh, philosopher also said, um, uh, Lao Tzu said, one effective way of fighting the enemy is winning the war without shooting a, a bullet. It, it is possible. Well, as here is to provoke the debate, we leave the facts with you. Whatever you do with them will take us to the next level. We wish our fighting forces very well. But you know, still to come, 23 victims of gunmen, gunmen attacks uh, in Quatas community in Bacos, local government area of Plateau State, get mass burial. This is heart rendering. We'll be back. All right, folks, you know, a mass grave, a mass grave is a gory sight. But in a supposed peacetime, 
It underlines the agonizing failure of our collective humanity, family members, sympathizers, and mourners congregated in Quatas village, I hope I got that right, in Bokos, local government area of Plateau State. On Thursday morning, when 23 victims of gunmen attacks were interred in a mass grave, officiating priest Matthias Sunday expressed dissatisfaction with the grave level of insecurity in the country. There was no government presence at the depressing event. Yes. And right, that, that, wrong? Well, I, I think it's wrong. Government. I think it's wrong. No so because if, if government were we, we, we heard the governor was wrong. somewhere else somewhere. at the installation. Yes, of exactly. Yes, you know, I mean, I, no, no. Well, yeah, yeah, but yeah. It, it, it shows. Um, um, would you say the government, government was? I mean, governor was not aware, or was he duly informed? Well, duly informed whether he wasn't aware, but his, his men were aware. Uh, for instance, the the commission for all the I can't recall whether it's the commission for information and uh, what the man who speak for the government. Okay, even yeah. was even saying that uh, the young man they killed. In Borono, the student, mm. uh, Rovi Dashev, I forgot the, uh, okay, uh, Dashev or so, something, that even that the, the, it's a hero for them because they said the boy was killed on because he came from or he hails from uh, from from uh, Plateau State. So the even uh, the spokesperson of the, gov gov the government was already aware, so you can't say the government was not aware. So is it no, no, aware of the mass burial? Who planned it? Is it, not, was it not, possible? Not the government. Okay, if was it possible that a mass burial will be planned and then the, gov the, the sitting governor will not be aware of all this? That, that's the question I'm, so I'm asking. So I think for me, well, we must for wait me to hear from, from. Personally, I think yeah. if he had, let me let me add a proviso. If he had and he decided to go for another 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 event, I think that is very sincere. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I look at it, it's, it's sincerity of purpose or so. It is not something that you can, you can say a government that is supposed to superintend or that superintend over the affairs of everybody. The, the, the security to, of, of life and property are in his hands by the constitution. There's something happened. One, two, three, four, five. How many people fell by, 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 by assailant's bullets or whatever they used and then he's not there. Even if he wasn't there as, as, a, as the governor, how right. about sending even a representation, maybe one or two persons, that's the way it should go. But, and do you know that all this is happening in Plateau? It's not just now. I just wondered, even when I heard it, that Dates in back June... back to the 50s, though. In June, even, even re, I'm talking about recent year, in okay. June 2018, uh, uh, this same... Uh, 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 they, God, they, yeah. they, they, they attacked about, no fewer than about 11 villages. And about 18, 86 persons were, were killed. Uh, uh, 50 houses raised. About 15 motorcycles raised. About two vehicles raised. Look at the collateral damage apart from the human and collateral damage. Also. Okay, if you look at, if you, if, you, if you calculate between June 2018 and now, it's up to two years. Question is, when this happened, what had been put in place to forestall what just happened? And I understand that the, 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 the thing started on, on Sunday and even continued on Monday. The police were called at about 6.30 p.m. What they said was that they were going there to know what actually was happening. Then one hour later, they now told you, oh, they, 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 were, they, they really realized that about 23 persons have been killed. How, how, do, you, how do you reconcile all, 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 those, uh, all, those, all, all those things? How do you reconcile them? Yeah. Uh, Bola, sometimes you wonder if what you read in the papers or watch on TV or hear on radio are necessarily true. They're necessarily true in the case you know, of this um, killing, the killing, the, the plateau killing. Killings. Because, yes, killings. Because if you look at what paper A and paper B and paper C reported, they were almost the same thing about the killing. You know, naturally we should look at it, you know, from this scenario. The killings, the killings didn't start today. It started oh, yeah. long right. time ago. Been a long time coming. Now, you understand me? What we had was that they had agreement, negotiation, in respect of how to stop the killings. Now, the killing, the killings happened. Now, the, no, no representation from the government. All papers, the papers that I read, they published that. They even, even the, the quoted... Electro yes, electronic media too. Yes, they also quoted that the governor rather went to another area, was it, and Saddam for the installation of new ships. What are we saying? If the security, if security report should tell the governor not to go there, the people will lynch you. Uh, the people are very angry. It should reason also that look, for me not to go there, 
and sympathize with them and speak with them. I should not go for any shifting event. That is my take. Hmm. That is my take. And the governor, the way the governor behave, what we read about the reports, what we read from the report, indicated that, look, maybe the people didn't care. The state government didn't care about what happened to the people. That is my own take about it. And now, that means the agreement didn't work. The, uh, the security architecture they put in place didn't work. They should think about what happened. Because what I'm saying is this, we are hearing of 23 now. If nothing is done, we may be hearing of 30, 40, 50. There was something one that happened in the uh, uh, Mangu, Mangu local government uh, uh, two weeks before then, about where 12 people were killed. Yeah. Uh -huh. but it, it, so it has, up. by the same marauding gunmen, mm -hmm. are we saying these gunmen, uh, they are not, they are not, they are not they spirits. Don't, they are not spirits. Yes. No, what, what even bothers me is that spirits. when they, when when these things happen, there's usually a distress call to either police formation or to or this particular, Charles, particular it, the it, distress it, call. It, is, is this thing? A happenstance. Is, is it, it a, a happenstance? It, no, it's is not it a stance. coincidence? No. How did how did you, how did we get here? Because those things how are planned. How did we get here? But you know why? These things are planned, and hatched, successfully hatched, and then no presence of security agencies were ever. Co it's after they have left. You now see them coming to say, "Oh, then what do you now do? They now what do they now they now tighten the security around that place, and that place will now be safe. Then the the marauders will now go somewhere." Else. And it I happened to, when 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 when, my, when we're robbed from Bini, uh, Bini, Bini, when we're coming from Monicha, we're robbed in Bini. Everywhere got dry, and we're also robbed by by men who because their their cows were were used to block us before some people came from the bush and they robbed us. For that about ten or twenty minutes that we're robbed, no vehicles passed, no military men. It was after they passed, you now some military men were gone. Where 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 are they? Where are they? My question is that when you have things like that, where, where at, the security of life is in the hands of the government. You have police formation who were duly, who were duly, who were duly told about the. I mean, they were, there was a distress call that went to them. Or before you knew it, twenty-three persons were dead. It's only that they were now releasing a press, press, a press, a press statement. Oh, uh, we actually went there to check when we got the distress call to check what was actually happened. The question is, how do you define distress call? What's distress call? Is this like okay, say come and see what's happening, or, or come we're, we're having a party? A distress call is a distress call. And you, when you yeah. receive a distress call, it, I, mean, it, I mean, we are told that desperate diseases require desperate treatment. So when you receive a distress call, you are saying, let me go there and see what's happening. But are we damned as, a, as it is? Are we damned? Yeah, I won't say that we are damned. I'm asking a question. No, I won't say that we are damned. Which is saying there's a way around it. Yes, there is a way around it. If we take the appropriate measure. Because like you see, you said that, you know, the security people will come. And then tighten security around there. After, no, after it me, has happened. Let me tell you, let me tell you. They will tighten security. Those people that they've pursued, they've killed, they've gone. These people, attacker will now come. They take over their land. Look at what happened in Benway. They were doing that even in Taraba. After attacking the people, burning their villages, they will come over, they take over the place. They fill the place with their people. Then they will appoint their own chiefs. Then what are we saying? I don't think we are dumb if we take, you know, if we look in, we sit down and we tackle the matter. This is a matter we can tackle. These people are not ghosts and they are not split, as you said. They move from one area to the other. And people will know that these people are going. They are not necessarily going, you know, for party. They are going to do something to do, uh, dangerous. To do damage. To do damage. To do damage. Then in such a situation, you know, ah, no, no. I will repeat it again. Maybe for this insecurity, if people for can emphasis. say... Yeah, for emphasis, I will mm. repeat. The issue of whistleblower or giving a kind of... Uh, I incentive, don't know. Incentive. 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 You incentive know, the pricing. people that will give accurate information before the attack, not when they are attacking. But why did, the, why did the whistleblower... Why did it seem to have failed? I mean, you, you blow a whistle. I don't know if you say your cover is blown up. Mm. Or it's blown off. You blow a whistle. We're supposed mm. to be 
You're supposed to be uh, uh, faceless. Uh, uh, undercover. You're yeah. supposed to be faceless when you mm. blow a whistle to help the to help the system. But at the end of the day, before they even they even mm -hmm. they even give you, they, they blow up they blow off your your cover. And then How safe are you? How other people who who, who will know that there's, they, you don't have any cover? How can they how can they come forward to now advance information? It's going to be difficult. All, all right. So today it is Plateau State. It could be mm -hmm. anywhere, anywhere tomorrow. Um, I, I think many a governor, especially those who chance to watch us every weekday at this time, must do. Well, they talk about pillow talk. Mm. <laughs> it is possible to get around what, what you know the problem, bedeviling this country. Otherwise, I don't think we are damned. I don't think we are. I damned. don't. I don't. Well, 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 okay. well, it seems. Well, I don't think we are damned. Okay, then um, we must uh, move ahead. You know, um, the latent conflict between the intellectual class and the government is as intriguing as the battle of the sexes, if you understand me. And with a little bit of ill luck, the university teachers might be spoiling for another round of strikes. The bone of contention is the Integrated Personnel Payroll Information System, the IPPIS. Government insists only teachers captured in the scheme will be paid. And payment begins today, gentlemen. Uh, the January, uh, this uh, means yeah, that sure. the old practice of paying them in bulk will cease forthwith. Mm. Are we expecting another round of fireworks? Well, it might be. So, so it might seem if uh, last the last ditch um, efforts by both parties um, fail to yield results. But I do. I, I personally, this is what this is what I want to say. I think um, the federal government, for me, having looked at the issues, um, and the federal government is not is not fair to the university system because in 1993 uh, there was this university's miscellaneous uh, provisions act that was um, enacted and signed and also amended in 2003, which of course granted the university system authority, uh, sorry, autonomy, autonomy, yeah. autonomy, autonomy. And what does autonomy mean? Autonomy means that you have the power to run your system, to govern your system, even the appointment of all Listen, the government council order. Tell me, I said personally to me, tell me and tradition. him that it also grants uh, the university com uh, community the power not to get uh, not to get uh, scrutinized. No, it's not about, look. Not to get, not, not to, uh, you know, surrender their books. No, I, I, I do understand that the advantages of the IPPS are IPPIS. Very, I, I, IPPIS are very, very, very but good. If, but if, how different from the other uh, servants of government are the teachers? No, but the other servants and government were not granted autonomy. That's the difference. The university will go because of its peculiar nature. Okay? Even when you when you when you go back to even 1962, in, in University of Badon, I think it's uh, uh session, there was an university uh, at, at that time of University of Badon mm. that also granted it, uh, granted it autonomy. I think it's a session session four session one of that act gave the University of Badon at so that time, 1962, <laughs> the authority to to also raise its management team and all that. So, which of course, when you fast forward to 1993, when the university miscellaneous uh, position was also enacted mm. and also signed into law, also revised and amended in 2003, it also vested upon the university system the autonomy to run, to run, to run its course. So now, on the one so hand, the federal government and no accountability. No, there, uh, there's an that. accountability. Oh, accountability has to do with even financing and all that and management. Yeah. Uh, on the one hand, the NLPC of this world, the FIRS of this world, and the what other and uh, uh, central bank of this world, he said they are exempted because they are. Uh, uh, profit making or revenue generating uh, 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 institutions, oh, but but the universities are revenue. Generating. They are not. That's they are not. That's that's. Oh, that's, they don't charge fees. That, no, no, no. The, the the arrangement is at first. They don't look at. They look at them as not in the level of N N uh, NLPC and all that. That's exactly. But what I'm calling with that, how can you grant a body autonomy? On the other hand, you're not subjected to the whims and caprices of other. That's that's why I have. Well, how do you open? No, no. My own take is this. Look. If the federal government can capture under employees, eh, under this IPP, I, IS, I don't see what is wrong in capturing university lecturers. Except they are telling me that it's dangerous to them, it will affect their academic works. That is my own thinking. Because, like, I don't see if, why... If their books are not open to scrutiny. Uh, scrutiny. Because, like, there must be... A, Look, even where they capture, we still see, you know, 
uh, issues of ghost worker and things like that. Oh, they're, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. But what we are saying is to minimize, to, to minimize, you know, these tendencies. I don't see anything so bad about that time. But it is not bad. What about the nomenclature? Mm -hmm. Look, there's a what point the about your autonomy. My what brother, about the what autonomy about that, have, that have gone? You, you you are, are, I'm, I'm, I have to stress that. Hold on, you, oh. you are talking about laws. Law. Man was not made for mm -hmm. laws. Then what you need laws to do is a process. There's a, there's a process. There's a process. There's a process for you to think out with the aspect of the law. No, see, the issue is this. Th that's that's no, where I stand. No, no, no. Look, Charles, my own take is contrary to your opinion. My own take is this. It's all right, should, uh, no, see, they should tell us the danger inherent in it in capturing them. They should tell us it's not that you don't want to be captured. No, no, does Charles, they should Charles, be able. Charles do, do you directly see, see anything that uh, harms the university community if you subject subject them to Your the book. IPPRS. Of course not, because I said uh, the, the, what, what we have got from, the, in fact, the ghost order, the number of ghost orders have been weeded out from the, when, since, uh, it, since uh, this, uh, uh, the system was, was activated. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's gladdening to, to my heart. Okay. But what I'm saying first, in as much as I would want even the system to also be crippled, what I'm saying first, that what they are holding on is that autonomy. If you think out with the aspect mm. of the autonomy, then you mm. can have them. That's, that's see, where my see, argument see. lies. It's on that, it's on that premise. Not, not any other. See, on the premise of the autonomy is what I'm, what, where I'm anchoring my, my arguments on. Hey, Charles. Yes. There's no total freedom anywhere. Yeah. For every freedom or right you enjoy, there is an obligation. The obligation is that, look, that's why the fact that they are enjoying their autonomy, they should subject themselves to the you know, law of the land, or the laws of the land, aside the issue of autonomy. Because, look, look at what is obtainable now with EFCC, ICPC. You understand me? The state government, they have their own autonomy as a state. All right. A federated right. unit. If, 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 okay, Charles, can, I drive, Charles, yeah, can I drive this argument just a little bit? Okay. Why, for instance, I'm just looking at it. Uh, if you, if you, if federal government in its own wisdom, which of course I believe that, uh, that the I, 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 IPPIS who is the, is the be all and end all, then why, why remove uh, Central Bank and all that? Uh, when, when they also, uh, under the federal government. Why don't you capture NAPC, capture FIRS, and capture Central Bank? Okay, let's talk about what we are sure of. What we are sure of also is that any teacher who is not ready to subject himself to the system, yes. IPPIS, will not get paid. Not get paid. But that, that's of and course, that, of course, is a recipe spell, for, for, for another, another uh, 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 what do we mm, call it now? I, 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 is the country ready for another round? I am not ready. I am not okay. ready. I'm not ready because okay. you look at, you, you, when you look at what that portends, it's going to also drag, drag us down. By the time you now go on strike for about six months, for instance, academic, academic activity will be, will be disrupted. Then you have people who are going to be doing jam very soon. And then those ones, there will no placement for them. And then we not. So I think uh, it, it's, it's, it's going to be very good for us to have this case or this issue resolved so that we don't have another, another crisis in our hands. As but, well, but, but like, you know, sometimes I, I am pained whenever some Nigerians would, you know, speak copiously about the giant strides Rwanda is making. Yeah. And they talk about Ghana and so on and so on. Mm. But none of them, as I always say, would tell you that the Rwandan president is dictatorial. Yes. Yes. So, benevolently but, oh, yeah. so. Benevolently so. We are not ready for those pains Don't here. benevolently yes. so. We, we, are are not ready. we are not ready for those pains here, yes. yet we want an omelette without yeah. breaking the egg. Yeah. egg. Is it possible? It's not Charles, possible. Is it's it not possible? possible. I said, well, even if you, make an, you just made an allusion to the um, um, you got Rwanda example, yeah. if they say... Uh, uh, okay, uh, Alright, sorry. We have, we have company, Alain Rewaji is reaching us from Oshobo. Uh, Larry, welcome. Uh, are you a member of ASU? No, no, I'm not a member of ASU. Go on, Good sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Yes. Go on. My own opinion about um, this uh, discussion on IPPIS is that I do not see anything wrong in um, lecturers being enrolled in IPPIS. Okay. If there is nothing for them to hide, okay. they might actually have autonomy. That does not mean they should not subject their books to the government. All we are saying is that they must cost workers. If you know the rot, the level of rot in those universities, they would not be saying that there is an autonomy somewhere. Autonomy does not mean that government should, government should not know what is going on. Mm -hmm. Why are they not willing to subject themselves to a mm -hmm. That is the question. Yeah. I heard the other man in suit saying it. 
that is there any reason that is against you know, you know, you know, you know their interest? For example, now if we are enrolled on IPPIS, is it that we will not be able to do what we are supposed to do? But it does not have any reason to have given us mm. to give us rather. So what they are just saying is they don't want to enroll. That means they have what they are keeping away from the government, which, in my own opinion, is. Okay, we, we got it first time. Yeah, well, so, so well, it, I wonder and all that. Yeah, they, it is said, give a man his rights on the left palm and his uh, uh, interest on the right palm, he goes for his interest and mm. forget, forgoes his rights. Yes. That's no, what we are saying here. Yes, that's forgo. what we are saying. He doesn't forgo, he treats it uh, less than the interest. He okay, forgo so it. see, it's about interest here. Yes. Not country first. Yes, not country first. Um, it, it, so well, I wouldn't know whether it's country for interest. I don't know how, where you're going to have mm -hmm. that's, that's, that. You, are, you have the right to that bullet. Okay, you see, like <laughs> you see, <laughs> Charles. Yes, Charles. The issue is, it's only, it's only in this country that I will see labor, eh, la uh, workers. They will say that uh, okay, since the federal government has already agreed on the payment of this. Amount, the other state government should follow or must pay. Yeah. It is only in this country that you see something that you see uh, that you know that will benefit other the citizens. Yeah. The generality, you will say it will not benefit you. I'm telling you the truth. It's because about interest. It is uh, about interest. It's not necessarily yeah. about national interest. Yeah. And it's not about public interest. That yeah. is that is what is so at stake. For me, the IP. P I S oh, yes. Charles yes. is the law, is the way to go. So the university community cannot play, uh, cannot be any different from the others. You talked about the central bank and all them yeah, big right. institutions mm. and NPC not, not and being so. captured. It, well, they are self accounting. Self accounting. Oh yes. Couldn't the university system be also be self accounting? No, no, no. No, no. I'm just asking. No, no. no. Remember, it's a, under, it's a con under, where, we, under, where no, we are raising under suppositions. Former president, good luck, Jonathan. 200 billion naira was released as part of an agreed. Uh, I think, because of the so, several MOUs yeah, yeah, and MOAs and, so and all that. And there was this question: What did you do with the 200 billion? Yes. You know. That question is still hanging. It's still hanging. No. But you see. It, it, when if you if, well, I'm not saying that uh, they can't be subjected to the books or to the scrutiny you, of the you, books. You are, you are taking it home, yeah. What I'm saying first that, and I, I also go repeat that, uh, in as much as IPPIS is desirable, mm. what the the lecturers are hanging on, can we look at it and see how we can throw that out? I mean, overboard the autonomy, and then. You now bring them but under... But today, today is payday. The well, checks are released today. But so. where, where, where some, of, some of them will be paid because yeah. some of them who sneaked, like University of Calabar, some of them, uh, UNN, some of them Obviously, who sneaked to, to it, register. It, it will be Nigerian. <laughs> it will be Nigerian. But like, there are people who sneaked who sneak to be registered. <laughs> <laughs> the issue, you know, what I think the federal government and the, the lecturer should, should do is to have a point of agreement on the issue. Yes. Because we cannot continue to have problem in the educational system. Because like, as he rightly said, people, you know, um, uh, some potential applicants, yes. you know, are ready to sit for exam. Whereas, do you know that most of the people that, you know, have been admitted, admitted. they've not yeah, even made I'm any progress. I'm telling progress. you, more than four months now, not made any a cousin of mine, you know, that was admitted, and we've already bought things. Yes. <laughs> Up to uh. today. And she's yet to, you know, to go they into the university. They don't even matriculate. No. Other people are already waiting eh, to write the exam. And then we should look at the backlog. And are, are, these, how things, are these things necessarily planned to Wait, go this what? way? No. To go this way? No, 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 I, don't no, no, so. no I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. so. I, think, I think it's, it's, the, lack, it's the lack of, uh, of, of uh, the willpower to handle them, to handle these things and address them. Early, no, that is why na, they, na, they, now keep, you they appreciate, keep coming over. Now and you over appreciate, and over gentlemen, and over. you appreciate the trouble um, the last but one finance minister had. What's her name now? Ogozo, Ogozo. No, oh, okay. No, no, no. Um, the, the Ogun woman. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's her, the woman from uh, Kemi Adeoshu? Uh -huh. uh -huh. When she introduced um, the clocking system, mm -hmm. that uh, in the process we did. Over I, I, I'm, I'm a problem of a clock, clocking. 
here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I okay. am, because you can... We, we're clocking here. Yeah, okay, of course, I'm so, aware of that. So, so it, it um, threw up 55,000 yeah. ghosts. Yeah, immediately. And yeah. so we saw them, and we saved so much, so, mm. so, so much. So I, I think the university community has uh, a little something to do for us. Yeah, I think the, uh, the they, they must, nationalism has to come. They also they, have to look they, at they national interests. They have to think of the national... Um, uh, the nation's or the, well or the losses, the losses the, that the might suffer. Well being. Yes, exactly. And particularly well parents the future, who have those future future nation's well being of yes. undergraduates. Mm -hmm. The future of undergraduates. And then the quality of our the education that's also suffering. Uh, it's been bashed up. All right, we must go. We must go. Um, Bola Olajuwon, thank you for your time. Oh. And Charles, thank you. Thank you, Olajuwon. Uh, of course, yes. you know this is the last Friday in the month of January, so like play, like play, one month over. So we are changing calendars tomorrow. That's all on the show for the, this evening and this week. And you may also watch the program on other platforms we'll show on the screen. And again on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. The feedback channel remains the same. On behalf of the Backroom Boys here, I'm saying uh, God bless you and bye-bye now.